This is a little video on Bootstrap Studio and learn how to code HTML. And this is going to be a little series I'm doing, um, which is, this is going to be the first part. Okay, so if you go to create design, and you're just going to use a blank template and create here. Um, in fact, you don't need that many tags really to have some understanding about HTML. I mean, the many, most, um, the more you know, the better, <clears throat> but it's, some of it's, um, you know, to get, to get going and to be able to build websites, it's, you know, you can do them on quite a basic level, really. Um, so just put a div in here. Okay. So we we'll just convert to HTML and using a tool like Bootstrap Studio it makes things easier because things like divs and that are part of HTML but they're already in there for you. Okay, so we just go on here and we'll start with something called the H1 tag, okay, which is for text. Okay, so it's just H1 and I'll show you in there. H1 and then you close the tag and then just put I, or whatever you want really, I am an H1 tag, okay? And you close that with the close, back up with the forward, uh, with the forward slash, oops, H1, and you just apply that, and there it is. I am an H1 tag, okay? And that goes like H, exactly like that for to h6 so you have h1 is the biggest and that's like for a, a heading um h1 h2 h3 is exactly in the same format okay so we just do another one h6 and you'll see how small this is i am an h6 tag okay and then close this brackets h uh, six okay uh, so there we just apply that and we'll see how that that looks there all right so that's uh an imp they're important tags and we can do something um you know like a paragraph and paragraphs are also an important tag which you need to know okay so p and i would just say um you know, and you usually put Laura Mipson, if there's not much there, but you'd say, uh, I am my first P tag or, or paragraph tag. Okay, and we just close that the same way. P, all right, okay, so you see the, the um, information there. If you open with say h1 you close it with the slash in h1 and the same with p and everything else okay so um we'll just put an image in which of course is a is really the web used to look really boring without images so we'll put that in and that's just a car oops i didn't see that p oh dear um just do that again, P, um, a paragraph tag, okay, P, all right, okay, and apply that. Okay, so the next one is, here's your image, Renault, and we're just going to put image, IMG, okay, S -E -S -R -C, which stands for source, equals, and that is, we put uh, quotation marks in there and we'll put Renault.jpg. Okay, and this is a little bit different because you don't need a closing image tag. Okay, so you can just, you can actually just put it like that and that would work. Okay, and there's your, your Renault. Of course, you would like, you would change the sizes and stuff like that, but this is just to get you started on in HTML. So the modern way to do this is to close that with a slash, okay? And that's the way you can do it, but it still works without it. 
There's always, um, or certainly used to be in the older days about whether you use uppercase or lowercase for your HTML tags. Um, used to be, I used to use the, the uppercase, but now it seems to be the practice that lowercase is better. Um, so that is the way forward on that and it looks neater as well. Okay, so that's just the first um, steps on this and I uh, hope to do a few more. But these tags here are very, very important and um, hopefully that gives you a little benefits and um, thanks for watching this video.